Okay. So, um, yes, um, going back to the global picture, um, I think I think the global economy will suffer a lot because of that um, pandemic slowdown. Um, businesses will slow down, and then um, nakikita natin siya uh, currently sa oil prices. Um, because I think this happened back in 2008 when oil dropped a lot, but wala siyang pandemic. So when kahit bumagsak yung oil, people are still traveling. Mga, yung mga ships, gas, walang quarantine. So hindi hindi siya, so parang ok, mas hindi okay lang yun nangyari doon. But now we're in quarantine, walang nag-travel, nakadock yung mga sh ships, sa ports. So that's why we saw that oil demand, um, sobrang daming supply. Okay, so oil demand na wala, tumami yung supply ng um, oil. So that's why the contracts um, went to zero for this month. Okay, anyway. So we can see the U.S. for those observing the U.S. stock market, um, it has recovered very, very, very well. So let's just um, I'm gonna share with you the screen. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So so this is. Um, Pakita natin yung Dow Jones na stock market. Okay, so okay, so yan yung chart. So um, from the pandemic, pandemic started ng Feb, di ba? Feb, dito nahulog dito sa... Um, nakikita niya ba yung screen? Yes, pa. Okay, so... Kita po. <clears throat> and dito eh dito area na to okay yeah nag nahulog boom nahulog 28,000 <coughs> 18,000 so that's 36% drop <coughs> so grabbing <coughs> you can see um the market US market recovering from the lows to the current high it's up already up um they're almost 28%. Okay? So, we can see it heading towards the resistance line, which is this, um, I use the 50-day moving average here. It's in, in yellow line. Okay, so if you guys, <clears throat> um, if you guys know me, I use, I often use the um, sim three moving averages mainly mainly the 10, 20, and 50-day moving average. So I put the 50-day at the yellow. So that is always there. And uh, ina adjust ko lang yung 100 and 200 if needed just to, if I want to, if I want to check the other support and resistances, okay? Um, yep. Okay, so yeah. So, yeah. so itong PSE, load natin uh, Hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, the PSE, PSE na drop from. Okay, kaya may start ng ano? Uh, start yes. ng, uh, March nine, di ba ito? So nag drop siya from six eight all the way to four four thousand two hundred forty percent down, forty percent down. Nagrally, ngayon up ng 29% at the peak of the rally it's up 40%. Again, we can see um, this line. This is the 50-day moving average line that will be the resistance. Okay, so this will be a parang I think this can be a sideways. Uh, moving forward, it, it can go sideways <clears throat> or I'm gonna draw this line here. Hey, sorry. Uh, sorry. Ray, I mean Ray. Ray, okay. Yeah, so 
if I draw it here, nag-break na siya ng um, pattern. So, if I adjust it here, nag-break nag -break na rin siya. Nag-break siya dyan. Right here, straight line. Okay, diba? So, <clears throat> so nag-break nag -break na siya ng support. So, what we can see, baka bumaba pa or mag-retest near the 4,800 area. So, paano naman hindi? Same goes with um, the Dow Jones. So, um, it will be the same. Nakaharang itong mga mukha natin. Ah. Uh, there's a ray here. Yeah. Yeah. So currently, nandiyan pa siya. Um, but you can see this 50 DMA in that resistance level. Okay? So um, what will happen is, di ba, tinatanong niyo kung ano yung mangyari. Kasi um, yung, yung ano, um, ano mag-cancel share yun? Yung mangyari doon, um, earnings will come in. First quarter earnings will come in. Then the second quarter earnings will come in. Tapos, siyempre, um, mahina na yung mga earnings sila because of the best, um, effect of that um, pandemic sa business. So, siyempre, walang, walang kita. Sarado yung malls. Um, sarado yung malls. Sarado yung mga shops. Walang bumibili. So, we can see yung mga... Um, we can observe na ano ba yung mga industry na nagtatrive. Yung mga bukas pa rin until now. So, that will be for gold, grocery. So, in the US, yung mga online shopping. Tapos yung mga fitness at home. Um, nakasulat. Yoga mats. Um, selling like hotcakes because lahat ng tao gusto nila mag-workout sa bahay. You know, and all that stuff. That's why um, we can see Amazon. Netflix, yan, umakyat, di ba? So, we want to, so umakyat lahat yun because um, common sense, sinabi ko yan. So, we can see ngayon PLDT going into all-time high glow because everyone is just using sa bahay, nag-net, nag-Facebook. Facebook traffic of PLDT is in up 16%. And then, what, nanunod ng Netflix, o oh, di, puro ganun-ganun lang. So, Common sense yung stock picking ngayon. That's why all-time high yung Amazon. Kasi online shopping. All-time all high yung pure gold. 52-week high yung pure gold natin. Because everyone is just buying grocery. Di ba? Okay? Um, ano ba ba? So, stop. Yes, if long term tayo, buy now, keep. Uh, for long term investors, like 5 years, 2 years, 10 years, I think you can buy it now and then keep it and that will be a good investment. <clears throat> Pero that will be a long term view, okay? Kasi um, below, basta below 4,000. Below 5,000, the valuation is very, very cheap. Kahit naman ngayon, very cheap pa rin. So just pick the, the stocks that you want to invest in, which is na may dividend, which, which are, ano, um, Morocco, Tel, di ba? Hindi ako, Euro is not a legit stock. Okay? Okay, so... Yes, tech stocks kasi ano, Facebook, tapos online shopping, e-commerce, everyone is at home. So ano pa, ano, yung Uber, Uber delivery, o, di ba? Grab, lahat tayo nag-grab everyday, nagpapag-grab ka, angkas, whatever. So yun yung mga sectors sa US na umaakyat. And then sa Philippines, it's, it's going to be the internet. <clears throat> internet business, tapos um, utilities. And um, uh, retail, retail. So retail will be um, 
IOD um, Pure Gold. Um, guys, sa ano retail. Um, but guys, sa ano retail has a uh, exposure for some mga uh, malls. Um, Robinson Street also is um, the old Rustan supermarket. Okay, so URC. Ito lang kasi, di ba? Yung mga C2, yan, they, they manufacture that and that's being used to send it out to people. And then yan yung mga basic needs natin. Hindi ko lang sure if um, they, the <clears throat> they operate yung factory ng URC. And San Miguel also is also a lagging um, lagging lagging uh, stock price-wise dito sa an, um, current situation natin. Anyway, moving forward, um, ano pa bang pag-usapan natin? <clears throat> um, Cryptocurrency. Sorry? Bitcoin. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I'm not exposed on Bitcoin, so I don't want to talk about that now. Okay, thank you. Um, so let's, um, I know. yes, uh, Bumi, yung, you mentioned na uh, if, if you're looking for long term, you can buy now. What if it is short term or mid term lang? Uh, yeah. Is but, it the right time to buy na rin or I, hindi pa? Uh, uh, very, very, the question is very, very hard to answer kasi what is midterm? What is short? What is a midterm for you? Two months, two months, one year, diba? Uh, so, so yun lang. Uh, wait. For the quick trader, is it good to buy now or still not? Uh, hello, uh, sorry. <clears throat> so so for the trader, um, it's all it's all based on technical analysis. The approach is also, ako, for me, it's uh, based on technical analysis. So the question is, kung anong stocks ba yung bibilin mo? Value na eh. So um, value investor ka, short-term trading. Um, mahirap sagutin yung tanong din because it's very, very um, specific, di ba? So... Mahirap siya sagutin, actually. So, um, and depends on your time frame. Kasi if bumili ka ngayon, tapos bumaba ng 20% in the next two months, pero by the end of the year, mag-up ng 10% naman pala. Diba? So, what is your time frame for investing? Okay. Okay. So, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just curious. Um, do you consider your 50 MA midterm? Because I noticed that you're using 10, 20. Now for me, it's short term. Yes, 50 is short term also. So I use that um, to determine my short term target and um, short term support. So 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 until 50 day lang yung ginagamit ko because I'm um, my time frame is shorter meaning um in holding ano ko mas shorter so I just use the 50 day moving average so I don't put 100 day because hindi ko naman naiisip na papaabutin ko pa doon yung um position ko if ever I have a certain stock okay okay thank okay, you uh, yep. <clears throat> so, um, ano ba ba? Naka-share screen ba ako ng chart dito? Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, po. Nakita namin. Anyway, so di naman natin kailangan mag-live charting session because that's <clears throat> nagawa naman ng lahat ng tao yun, no? So, 
anyway, um, before we go, um, before we go to the next, jump to the next topic, it's gonna be, gusto ko lang mag-share ng ano, um, sa mga ano, since we're in a lockdown, tapos, so nasa lockdown tayo, so we have a lot of time in our hands to, you know, um, read, learn, whatever. So, uh, ito yung mga books na gusto ko i-share. So, first one is this one. So, invest like a shark. So, this one is saying that you have to be fast. So, sa mga traders na, na, na dyan, um, this is a very, very, very good book. So, the sum summary na to is sinasabi niya, um, in the financial world where you are maraming mga big players like the banks, institutions, buying stocks, buying uh, blue chips or whatever, bigger players, mga, syempre, retail investors, meron tayong capital natin is smaller, 100,000, 200,000 compared to bigger traders, may 10 million, 20 million. So, that's where your advantage lies. Okay, so, Sometimes, si mga um, stocks with low volume, like ano ba yung pinakalokoy, parang ECP, parang yung to go. Diba? So, um, for you, pwede ka bumili doon in and out easy with your, because you are a smaller retail investors. But bigger banks cannot participate in that. Kasi bakit? Bibili sila ng 1 million pesos worth ng to go. That will not be enough. Baka magsiling pa yung dahil sa kanila lang. So this book um, tells you how to be fast. And then, yung mga kalaban mo, yung mga whales. So you're like a big shark biting off and taking advantage of the big moves. Okay, so this is, um, yes, one of the good books to read. This is mostly concentrated on short-term investing or trading. So, yung nagsulat na to is uh, Deaf Guy. Okay, imagine mo, bingi siya, pero sobrang lang yun ang kinit niya sa stocks. Okay, so that's one. Babasa lang ako ng comment. <clears throat> Kasama ba sa, uh, kasama ba ICT? ICT is ports yun eh, diba? So all ports are halted. So I think it will be affect their business will be affected. DNL is um, consumer because they make chemicals. They make chemicals for um, mga food tech, diba? So mga sa oil. Um, sa mga, di ko, ako, di, di ako sobrang familiar doon. Pero kung anong chemicals, which part, parang oil, oil ng Jollibee yata sila, tapos yung Krispy Kreme na uh, ganyan-ganan. Pwede rin ma-affect because um, sarado yung mga restaurants, di ba? Anyway, <clears throat> so the next one will be this one, How to Trade in Stocks. So this is Je by Jesse Livermore. Yung totoong book niya is The Reminiscence. But Reminiscence is a story ng buhay niya. So this book just, so yun yun parang story niya. Pero itong book na to concentrated and focused on the lessons that he wanted to impart. So parang uh, kung ayaw mo na mabasa yung buong story ng yung buhay niya, this one summarizes what he did right and what were his mistakes also. And um, it's a more Q&A based. So, mabilis lang basahin. Easy read siya. It's not like um, maraming technical stuff. Okay? Um, so, yun yung dalawa muna. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yes. Ta um... Stocks with low volume green, speculative stocks like that. Um, I try to avoid it or at least when I trade it, 
I just trade it with smaller size because I don't want to get um, trapped. Meaning non, <clears throat> in explain ko na to dun sa, um, in explain ko to dun sa um, YouTube video ko how to trade penny stocks as a blog ko how to trade it and how to buy it how to how much and how how to buy stocks like this so as you can see bid and ask okay so uh, i highlight ko tong bid and ask dito sa side so this is the bid 100k okay so yung yun nagbebenta 300,000 okay so sometimes hindi ko alam kung totoo to minsan fake so bibili ako the average is Bibili ako ng 200,000 shares. Because I know, pag bumili ako ng 200,000 shares sa 122, pwede kong ibenta yung 200,000 shares dito sa 119 easily. Right? So, if I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it like that. Hindi ako bibili ng 1 mil, 2 million shares. Kasi pag binili ko yun, mamamablema ako. Paano ko ibibenta? So, um... Being being a, ter, a trader, it is important to having that flexibility to maneuver in and out of the trade fast na wala kang problema sa liquidity. That's why, um, that's why pag pinag-uusapan ko yung gainers, uh, binavalue ko yung volume. Pina-highlight ko yung volume dito. Kunyari, top gainer ka pero wala naman nangyayari sa volume mo, it's useless to trade it. Okay? So, ito. Um, trade it. 10,000 pesos worth. Okay? So, check natin yung chart. O, ganyan. So, I'm sure the bid and ask of this is not, o, ito. Bid. Uh, 1,000 shares. O, 10,000 shares yung buyer. Bid is 1,000 lang yung pwede mong bilhin sa 110. So, Hindi mo siya pwede i-trade. Hi, Richard. Okay. So, so that's what I'm talking about. Sa, um, dun sa, saan ba yung chat? No, wala yung chat. Chat, chat, chat. Wait, ah. Ah. <clears throat> Okay. Chat. Yun, chat. Okay. Liquid, liquidity is very, very important. Um, okay. How do you use, how do you see Annie and Axelon related to COVID? <clears throat> uh, hindi ako familiar sa Annie. Axilum is, um, I, I think Axilum should do okay because they're in the um, coconut business yata yun, di ba? <clears throat> so, um, the approach, the approach naman always is um, technical first. So, if you, so yung mga bagong investors dyan, <clears throat> um, technical first parati ako. So, let's just check Ani. <clears throat> Kung ano nangyayari sa Ani. Okay. So, Ani, we can see it, um, Reversing, okay. So we can see, we can see this reversing from, reversing from the low, breaking out of the 10 day, 20 day, breaking out of the 50 day. So it's now above the 10, 20, and 50 day. So I don't know bakit siyang malakas, so, but I can monitor it. And if ever I'm gonna wait for an entry point somewhere here, so ngayon, it's going to be an uptrending stock. So ayaw natin ng downtrending stock. We have to wait for stocks to reverse before. Ako, I wait for stocks to reverse before trying to enter them. Okay? So what are the criteria of reversing stocks? So for me, I want the price to move above, to move above the 10, 20 day, and 50 day MA and then stay above the 10 and 20 day MA for it to cut, to be a reversal stock, okay? So, yun yung category ko doon. <clears throat> so, ang reversal stock na mali na will be tech. Uh, okay, so now, so at this, um, at this stage, 
hindi ka pa sure sa reverse saan yan. Nag-try pa siya mag-reverse. Okay? At this stage. Pero ngayon, nag-break ng 50-day MA, it might form another box consolidation here for it to reverse. Okay? So that's the criteria for um, um, reversal patterns. Okay? That's the most common questions na parati tinatanong. So, ano yung category mo for screening the stocks? So, easiest answer will be price should be above the 10, 20, and 50 day moving average. <clears throat> I would, I will not suggest buying stocks with share buyback program dahil lang may share buyback program. Why? Because SSI merong share buyback program for the last two years. But ano nangyari sa surprise? It's going down pa rin. So, um, a share buyback program is just a um, <clears throat> it's just something that will help you Oi, may share buyback program yun ano? Itong X company. So, I will check the chart. I will check what's happening. And then, by that, after that, I will decide kung bibili ba ako or not. Okay? Hindi ako masyadong trade kasi stocks below 50 DMA. Nag-trade ako ng nag-trade ako stocks that are above. Trade ako ng tech. Trade ako ng PLDT. Trade ako ng pure gold. Ayan. So, so nakita nyo lahat ng mag chart niyan. It's all above 10, 20, 50 day MA. Um, Tinid ko yung IDC. Nag-try ako pero nasa resistance. Nakita nyo? Resistance yung 50 day MA niya. Resistance yan. So, nang try lang ako somewhere here. So, just break even. Um, okay. So, wait. Next, next topic. Okay. Um, so, we all know. Um, so, we all know how to trade. I mean, most of, I'm sure most of you guys <clears throat> uh, nagtatry mag-trade. Okay. So, well, how do you, so just some um, tips, tips on how to, I know, <clears throat> tips on how to approach the trading, I know, trading, entering the trading day, after the trading day, going into the trading day, what's, what's supposed to happen? So, of course, before the trading day starts, meron ka ng rough idea what you want to buy. You have a certain list of stocks. Okay, today, gusto ko bumili ng Pure Gold. Gusto ko bumili ng Globe. Aabangan ko bumaba yung, um, um, let's say, tech. Pag bumaba yung tech at this price, baka bumili ako ng konti. Ganon. So, before the trading day happens, this is all planned out in your little small notebook or whatever. Or if you, if magaling ka mag-memorize sa mind mo, uh, memorize mo siya. So, you don't derail from the plan. So meaning non derailing from the plan meaning if if may gumala bigla to go ceiling tas biglang bumili ka doon so that's not part of your plan so that's being um tag doon discretionary trading because it's not part of your plan but you executed it because given that merong news catalyst biglaan so napabili ka doon but i don't recommend buying on impulse if it's not in your plan because most probably that will lead to um, recklessness in trading and then you don't you're not sure um I mean binili mo or but umakyat hindi ka sure doon hindi ka pa rin sure kung um lalo na yung position mo kung gaano karami bibilin mo hindi ka rin sure doon di ba <clears throat> okay so so you you have to envision what will happen. Okay, so parang oy up in um up in US market kagabi. So going into today, um thinking ko up 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 today market. So okay, 
So in, uh, pag umakit yung stock na hawak ko ng 5% today, baka ibenta ko na partial partial nun. And then, if, oh, pag meron akong hawak na X eh, stock, na isang stock, if it goes down to my cut loss price, I want to sell it there. So, so kunyari, bumili ka ng, to, ng, ano, bumili ka ng to go at ceiling price. Tapos, 9, 10 pesos, kunyari 10 pesos. Sabihin na, oh, basta pag nag-8, ayoko na. Cut loss ako sa 8. Pag nag-8 yun, bibenta mo na. So, envision mo na, okay, pag nag-8 bukas to, bibenta ko na yung tugo ko. Pero pag nag-ceiling or more than 40%, magbibenta rin ako ng konti or bibenta ko na ng lahat. So, you have to, um, you have to imagine two scenarios always. The worst scenario and the best case scenario before entering the, before the market opens. So, so parang exercise. Diba? So, pag easy may mga stocks na hawak mo, next day if it goes up, what will you do? If it goes down, what will you do? So, you will have a concrete um, action plan on anong gagawin mo just in case magkaroon ng end of the world. Oh, diba? Parang bukas, biglang, oy, extended na quarantine. Diba? Extended, the extending quarantine, news extended quarantine. Two days ago, and extend until May 15. So what happened in the market? So uh, napansin ko, down lahat ng SM Prime, Ayala Land. Bakit? Because extending the quarantine, anong meaning nun? Walang rental income, sarado yung malls. So, so yun yung impact feeling ko, di ba? So kaya mo wagsak. So moving, um, help by knowing the market sentiment also and um, kung anong nangyayari sa around the economy will help you um, base your mga biases and opinions and expectations to, to the market. Okay? <clears throat> so that's what usually happens. And um, Uh, uh, Margaret, okay. <clears throat> Sige, wait up. We'll just... Um... Hi, sir. Question lang po. Go. Uh, sir, do you consider yung uh, market team? Kasi this week, in-observe ko yung uh, market moves. Kasi... Diba sir, leaders yung mga nag-virally. And then, sa nakita kong movers kasi ngayon, uh, nag-shift na yung move from virally to W bottom and L to U. So, so yung question ko po is, kinoconsider mo ba na mas uh, marami kang ipipick up na W bottom or... W bottom or L2 yung na set up versus V rally since yung nag V rally uh, it's either nasa consolidation part sila ngayon or iba nag uh, nagbe break na ng support thank you okay V rally what's the V rally pure gold Dito V kasi lumampas na eh. Check na to. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, to answer that question is um, the, the, yung sinasabi mo, um, that happens all the time. Okay? The market cycle happens all the time. So, leaders will always go up first. Okay? Leaders. Leaders. Uh, in this scenario, leaders are pure, pure gold, globe, tell. And then, of course, pag kumita ka doon, binenta mo na yung pure gold mo, kumita ka, binenta mo yung PLDT mo, kumita ka rin, you will have an extra capital. Okay, meron kang pera. Oh, anong bibiling ko next? Maghahanap ka. That's why we can see stocks like this, itong max, biglang umakyat. Uh, from the, ito, umakyat lang bigla. Diba? From... Below 5, nag-7, bigla. Because 
of the rotation. Makat na, yung, makat na yung mga leaders, nag, may, may pera ka, naghahanap ka ng bagong stock na bibili. Ay, max, hindi pa umagya. So, people will start buying that stock and then, hopefully, lahat ng tao doon, ay, umakit na ito. So, bibili, bibili rin sila. So, ngayon, umakit na, nagko-consolidate na itong max na to Habang nagko-consolidate itong max na to yung mga leaders mo is in a longer consolidation phase na, ready to break out for the next move up if ever it's gonna move up. So, we'll see SMPH. So, nagko-consolidate, pero last Friday, bumagsak. Okay? So, um, to answer that question, it is, um, the funds are rotating. Okay? Kasi, kung common sense, if you are, if kumita ka dito sa isang stock na to, binenta mo na, Siyempre, bumagahanap ka ng next na bibilin mo. Ano ba yung next na bibilin mo? Ah, yung hindi pa, ano bang hindi pa umaakyat? So, lahat ng tao tumitingin dun sa pinakabugbog na stock. So, that's why we can see stocks na kahit na walang, wala nang, hindi naman walang value. I mean, walang point ng stock pa. X, bilang market na rin yung X. ba diba? Yan, from 40 cents, market na rin. Because <clears throat> people are looking some bar for bargain stocks fa ano ba nangyari sa fa ayan from 20 cents to 26 cents kahit ito umakyat na rin because people have money if kumita ka umakyat yung index ng 40% yung mga stocks umakyat ng 20% from the lows kumita may kumita doon they will want to um reinvest their capital and look for other stocks na hindi pa gumagalaw so that is called the laggards. Laggard stocks or basura stocks, third liner stocks. So that's what we saw last week. We saw a lot of biglang merong to go. Diba? Biglang merong um, to go. M-E-H. Ayan, to go. And then M-E-H. Okay? Ayan. So this, these are the third liner stocks. Because nandun na sa tapos after nyan, baka mag-rotate ulit to the um, um, blue chip companies. So it is um, money rotation to answer that question. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, does does that make sense? Do you see? Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Um. Okay. So, okay. Mm. Uh, so, we uh, so parate, we can see some, some of some, uh, well, most of us in struggle not in is, um, Ano bang struggle? Ano bang, ano bang common struggle ng mga ano, <clears throat> traders? I think pure gold is in a consolidation phase, not a distribution phase. Distribution phase meaning you pump the stock and then you sell it on the way down. Um, Accumulation phase is when you stop when the stock goes up and it goes sideways. Okay. Distribution phase, you will see distribution phase will be something like this. Alam ko masakit, pero ito yun. Okay? So, distribution phase will be something like this. Like this. When the stock moves from 3 to 20, when the stock moves from 3 to 20, you have to 
dito, bibenta, bibenta dito, medyo magdidistribute ka sa 8 pesos at 8 bucks, your cost, the owner's cost is still below 2 bucks, distribution phase here, and then after the distribution, it will go down again. Right, it will go down again, and then distribute, 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 and then you can try to pump it out to distribute again the ones that na binili mo sa two, benta mo dito, ulit lahat. Okay. <clears throat> Accumulation phase is the opposite of distribution phase. Okay. Accumulation happened at this one, particularly at ACE PH, previously FEM. Okay. Accumulation happens like this. When the stock moves higher from 90 to 150, that's 50%. Accumulation happens during this time. It will be sideways and then eventually move higher. So this is, I think, I think gusto ko rin share sa inyo, okay? Um, pop, accumulation happens here, boom, break out. Yung distribution, pag amakyat, hindi na pababa yung distribution, pababa ng pababa. Because they pump the price so high that they can manage to even sell the price lower at, at a lower price but when the price when when the price moves boom 1 to 150 and then it go, goes back here remains stayed for 1.3 for 4 months and it's not going down there meaning someone's accumulating it to have para lang ma check new facts during this whole time, may disclosure yon na may insider buying dito at 1.3 area. So the whole time it's been accumulated and not distributed. So don't um, mistake accumulation. Don't, don't, ano, wag nyo mistake in distribution and accumulation. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so, um, so I just want to share some of the trades, um, some of the trades last time, last year. Ito, alam na nang, alam na nang ano to, mga sir, boomy circle to. So, I just have five trades that I want to share. Um, okay, uh, five trades that I want to share. Okay, first trade will be um, Jollibee. Okay, Jollibee. Jollibee is a bounce play that I made in this um, particular time. Okay, may kita niya ba? Nakikita niyo ba? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> yep. So, this one is the bounce play. I'll give you... Um, uh, this is available sa premium members, but I to, just to give you, a, give you an idea, the target, my target place here, target profit taking, profit target ko was the 10 day at least 20 day maximum and then 50 day okay so that was my um my target okay so so bumaba na siya ng 3 days straight okay from 200 280 bucks bumaba ng um 230 to 235 sa coffee bean acquisition it was down 3% so this was called the bounce play so um uh, 
yun. So, ito yun. So, ito yung trade, diba? I'm gonna um, stop this. Gonna share this. So, bumili ako sa 237. Bumili ako sa 237. Tapos nag-add ako sa 240. And then, 244 yung last add ko. And then, I sold. Napansin nyo, 220 August 26, 25, 26 yung buying ko. Binento ko siya ng August 26 also. And then, maling date yung next. Okay, so, 254, 252, average selling price 254. Okay, so I just made this amount in that short period of time with less than a week. Um, Percentage-wise, 3%. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, paano ba so, so, dito ko siya, hindi ko nga siya nabenta dun sa expectation ko na 10 day which is 259. So we, ano nangyari doon? So yung market agad nagbenta ako ng partial kasi nakita ko naging volatile dito. And then yung next day yung market pa binenta ko ng lahat. So hindi na ako umabot doon sa expectancy ko na 258. But if ever um so I was contented with that amount given that short period of time with that gain. Okay? So I guess one of the questions that will follow here will be, Sir, paano pag binenta ko ito sumakyat? And then you have fear of missing out ka, di ba? <clears throat> eh, what if hindi mo binenta yon? E nangyari doon, after three days, after, pag bumili ka dito, after one, two, three, four, five, six, after one week, after seven days, wala na ulit yung kinita mo. Correct? Kasi um, entering that trade, it was only a bounce play, which will be a quick play. It's not a long-term investment. So you want, di ba? I always, parati ko sinasabi, the bounce is just like throw, yung nahulog yung bola from the 30th floor. Siyempre mag-bounce yun hanggang 10th floor. Di ba? The bigger the down, the higher the bounce. Okay. Anyway, that's one. Um, next one is um, a GSMI trade, which um, talo. Entering this trade is uh, momentum. So, itong blue line na to is the um, team parang breakout price ko, di ba? So yan. So itong chart, di ba? So, I'm gonna, um, so bumili ako dito. Bumili ako sa, let's just check. Yan, okay. Okay. Same, um, August 26, 10K sa 59, 10K sa 60, add sa 65. That's the trade. Okay. Okay. Share screen. Yeah. So, bumili ako dito sa 60. Kasi dito, et, kasi dito sa part na to, nag, kala ko ba-breakout na. So, six, bumili ako sa 60. Tapos bumili ako sa 60 plus, sa 65. Ah, o yun. Bumili ako dito. Tapos next day, dito sa 65, humabal pa ako. <clears throat> So, dito yan. Breakout. Laki ng kita. And then, after dito, nag-try nag, nag mag-pause. So, I call this the flag. Hoping for a continuation. So, so, uh, hindi ko siya binenta. So, ano nangyari next? Boom. Gumuhit pa baba. From nag-high ng 69, Biglang, on one day, nag-58. It was down more than 10%. Okay, so, um, binento ko siya sa 62, 60, tapos 58. 
60, dito na, 60. So, binenta ko na siya dito. Um, dito sa part na to na, 60, 58, next day pa, 58. So, talo pa ako. So, I, um, the blunder na nangyari doon is, yung gain, winning trade is, nawala, yung winning trade ko, natalo ko. Natalo pa yung trade na yun. So, that's, So that's one mistake. And then, given I think this major illiquid in illiquid in tong stock na to, that's why it was hard for me, and I bought more than what more shares than dapat ko bilhin. So so that's one mistake na nangyare toon. Okay, that's one mistake that happened here. And then one mistake again is adding up at 65 more than what my original holding was. And then cutting it too late, and that forced me to have a negative 200, more than 1% down. And then, yeah. So my mental note <clears throat> that I did not sell half when I took the profit. I bought more super more than what I dapat. And then, yun. Diba? So, that's what happened there. Oversize. Kaya hindi ako nakalabas ng, mabu ng mabilis. So, <clears throat> so, yun yung, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, na you have to be able to Put yourself in a situation where you can get out and get in without any liquidity problems. So that's one mistake. Okay. Um gusto niyo pa ba ng trade recaps or we'll just talk about something else? Verns, anong re reason mo for joining this is to mo, put the fire back on. Okay, Fran, US stocks. <coughs> uh, we can talk about that later because everyone here mostly are trading the Philippines. Eh? So it's going to be more productive if we talk about the Philippine market rather than... Um, Yeah, global markets. Kumi, question yep. sa GSMI play mo. Ha? Huh? Question dun sa GSMI play. Napansin ko yung first entry mo, ang haba nung week patas tapos pababa. Tama. Tapos yung pababang week niya, uh, dumapo na sa 10 MA yata. Correct. Correct. Uh, at that time, hindi ka na nag... Or yung cut loss mo nun mas mababa pa kaysa sa 10MA? I think, I think what happened in this day was na una yung tail na yan pababa before umakyat. Okay. okay? So, so given the low of this, um, itong day na to, ito yung pinag-uusapan natin. Um, this one. Tama? Okay. Low is 59, high is 64.4, um, 64.65. I think at that time, nauna yan, nauna nag-low na yung 59, tapos yung nag-60, doon ako bumili. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, ayan. So, um, yes, and then, um, Added at the confirmation of dob sa 65 double dito sa breakout candle, which is um in a bull market sent environment, I would have gotten away with this with a higher probability, but I think after dito the market sentiment was became um parang bumagsak eh so dami dami lahat yan sabay sabay bumagsak so 
you have to take into account also when to be aggressive and when to be you know defensive and i think at this time it was a very very aggressive very aggressive move because i made money here um on the previous move here this one this one this one so i was oh i was aggressive ulit dito sa last ko diba so <clears throat> uh same yung cut loss sa stop loss yeah that's the same uh JFC, the JFC bounce, the JFC bounce indicators, uh, it's in the bull, it's in the bounce playbook that is available only for the members. All right. So anyway, all right. Before I have two more trade, trade, three more, actually five trade recaps, but, um, five trade recaps to share and then um but i want to highlight because some of you guys are uh, tinatanong tinatanong niyo sa akin bakit ano yung ano ba yung ano ba yung meron diyan sa um, ano ba meron sa premium na yan di ba what kasi parang nagrereklamo pa sila free lang naman sa lahat <laughs> ah okay Okay, this one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So this is the this is the um, membership landing page, and what you will see here are all our charting sessions every Sunday, and then what you see here are some of the um blogs that i see um online na useful so gusto ko i-share sa inyo so so ito iba-ibang tao nagsusulat nito and then you can see well this you can just search it if you want but you can see the ebooks for trading if you want to go here and then uh, and then you have <clears throat> so yeah. ilan dito yung naka join na premium ano subscriber yung ko meron eh. <clears throat> anyone So, yeah, MFB Philippines. So, um, how's, uh, how are you, you know, do you find it useful? A bit, a bit do you find the um, content there useful, kulang, or what? So, it's a positive um, feedback or para may chance to improve the website, right? <laughs> buy it I, yes sir uh, okay yung ano yung ba? yung every sunday <laughs> kasi parang aside from the preparation it gives you also parang ah ito yung kaiser bumi na ano na nasa watch list na parang may parang sort of comparison ka <laughs> uh, so so kino compare mo lang kung ano yung nakita mm. mo dun sa sinasabi natin yes sir then actually you may na add ko as my watcher then ah uh, okay okay yes yes okay <clears throat> Did you access the bounce playbook there also? Ah uh, yes sir, ginagamit ko rin siya dun sa ano. <laughs> yung sa actually sa ano, yung sa mga recent na stock. Okay, okay. Okay, so um Okay, so share screen. Anong share anong screen naka-share dito? 
GSMI? Yes, sir, GSMI. Okay, so we'll go into a KPPI trade. Ito yung pag-uusapan natin dito yung FOMO. Diba? Ito, itong part na to. Okay. FOMO to. The FOMO, FOMO trade. Okay. Invalid symbol. Okay. KPPI. Ba't walang KPPI dito? Yan. Okay. Anyway, so I'm sure marami sa inyo nakaride dito. IPO na to. Wala? Meron. Meron. Ha? Na FOMO. FOMO. FOMO dahil binenta mo or dahil <laughs> nabili? Mataas ko na siyang nabili. <laughs> ah, okay. So si James naman, second day. Rode it second day. Pape, Abed, second day. Liit ng IPO allocation. Too scared. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so the approach here was um, yung first day, bumili ako, sabi ko, um, I will I put my cut at the low, low of this day. So, um, IP, ano bang IPO price nito? Hindi ko maalala eh. 5, 560? Something? Something 5. 550 ba? Or sa, 5 na, levels, yeah. 550? 550? Tama? Okay, 5, 5, 5? Uh, okay, 5. Anyway, so yung bumili pagbukas, so bumili ako sa 6. So sabi ko pag nag in um cut ko is 5. So I just put um dito low low of the day is um 584. So bumili ako sa 6. Okay, yun na, bumili na ako doon. So anyway, so ito na. So before tayo mag before we move on, um Ginawa ko dito, binenta ko siya sa second day. Actually, binenta ko sa second day ito. So, I remember, I bought, I sold it at around 10.4. And then, it closed at 12. 12. So, medyo FOMO na ako nun. Pero next day, na FOMO pa ako lalo. <laughs> Kasi nag-18. Pero, hindi, na FOMO pa ako dito, lalo na dito, ng 28. So this was really, really a big opportunity. And then, um, so I'll just share with you guys the trades that I made. Here. Okay. So this was by, I bought that, we nakabili pa nga ako sa low. I bought at 675. I bought at 620. I added here dito. And then I sold. Um I sold at 10 pesos kasi alam mo IPO niya is only at 5 and that gave me a 100% from the IPO price so medyo natakot ako so I sold most of all my shares which I always tell everyone to just sell half or partial, more than half, and then have some shares remaining para you can, if ever umakat the next day, you can still ride that next up days. So, medyo FOMO ako dito dahil, oh, sige, paano pag half lang binenta ko sa 10.50? Hindi palitan natin yung values. Oh, pag pinilita mo to, at siguro, let's say 15, 16, 16. Ano ang nangyayari? Hindi natin na ano formula. Anyway, so 16 from 10 will give me an additional um, 600,000 
pesos, right? In just one day. And di ko binenta ko lahat kasi I thought at that time contented na ako sa in. Okay, so next day na FOMO ko. So bumili ako sa 1060 kasi sinabi ko doon naman ako nagbenta eh. Pero syempre, the mindset was different going in because Ang volatile na dun sa 10 peso area eh. Parang nagte-1070, tapos nagte-1020, nagte-10. So hindi mo alam, baka biglang bumagsak, ba? So, binenta ko sa 1040. Talo pa ako ng 40k. Tapos nag-end up, nag-close yan that day, nag-close yan ng 12. ba? So, next day, bumili ako. Gap. Tapos binenta ko na naman ng mas maaga. Tapos nag-close yan 18. You know, tapos sold at the uh, sold too early at the open. Okay. Tapos dito bumili ulit ako FOMO sa 22 day trade. Tapos binenta ko sa 22. After ko after nito nag 28 yan. So uh, so yun yan. So um, let's go back to the chart. And, uh, um, sir, question lang po. So, ito. Oh, ano? Sir, yung sa table ninyo, yung nasa, sa ano po, yung mga highlighted in red and in green dun sa right yep. side oh. are all purely gains and loss lang po? Yes. Okay. <laughs> With tax. With tax, okay. 14M. Huh? Okay. Huh? Correct po ba? Doon sa, seven, sa 700 na gain ninyo, so mga kulang ko lang is ano, 14 million yun. Right? Hmm. Correct ba? Hmm. Okay. Based, based lang sa 14 million portfolio. Okay. Okay. Sige po. Thank you. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, ano bang nakikita niyo sa screen? Chart? KPPI chart. KPPI, sir. Okay, so yun yung nangyari dito. Okay, di ba? So, FOMO. Okay? So, binili natin. Binili natin. Binili ko dito. Tapos, binenta ko. Binenta ko na dito sa part na to. Tapos, ginawa ko. After ko yung ibenta, binili ko ulit. Pero hindi ko na nahawakan. Tapos next day, binili ko lang ulit. Tapos binenta ko agad dito sa 14 something. Hindi ko din nahawakan to. Tapos next day, nag-try ako ulit ng mag-day trade. 9 at 22. Tapos umakyat. Buti na lang. Pero hindi ko na-ride to. Na-fomo ako. Pero kinot ko rin dun sa 22. Pero bumaba na siya. So in essence, what I always try to teach most of my students is you can sell um, you can have, um, kunyari, you, you mag, magtitira ka ng 20%, 20% ng hawak mo to, para ma-ride mo na. Para hindi ka na mag-iisip. So, yung, mali, yung maling execution dito was, meron akong 200,000 na shares, binenta ko yung 200,000 sa 10. Okay? Binenta ko sa 10, 50, 200,000 lahat. So nakita niyo dalawang transaction yon because talagang plano lang is half. Eh kung kung finalo ko yung plan ko na yon, then nagre-relax na lang ako dito sa next day 18. I could have sold the next partial here at 16 or something and then last siguro dito about bumaba ako pwedeng 24 or pwedeng 18 at worst 14 still higher than the previous price. Diba? So Kasi iba yung, iba yung approach mo if you are entering with a binenta mo na sa 10. Tapos bukas, ah, nafo-fomo ka, bibili ka sa 12. Pero magiging volatile na stock na hindi mo siya mahirap na hawakan. So, it's it happens to everyone as you can see. Um, na, pati ako, hindi ko nga rin nahawakan masyado yung mga binibili ko. Even though I only bought 100,000 shares and the volume was trading with millions yun, di ba? Per day yung volume niya, millions yung umiikot doon. 
right? So what if I would have had a problem if I had 1 million shares, but I was only trading less than 10% or less than 10% of my current portfolio and di ko na rin siya nahawakan. So that, that just means that um, yeah, oh, disciplined at that time and then um, I wanted to take quick money and did not wait for the process to you know um, just trail put a trail stop and ride it out so that so that nafofomo ka and that cost me a lot of money na paper gains lang naman so um, right now that's what I'm trying to adjust the FOMO na, okay, move on. Paper gains lang naman yan. Eh. So it, it will have another chance. So stop, stop whining about it and just move on. Kasi if you become fixated with that, wala na, hindi na gagalaw, hindi na tayo mag improve Every day ka na lang mag whine okay? So, nainis ako for a couple of days and then after after two weeks, nakalimutan ko na rin siya. Moving on. Diba? <clears throat> Hold, uh, holding a core, holding a core, if is only, consider it a core, if it's the position is ahead by more than 15%, 20%. But if you are just ahead 8, 5%, 8%, that's not, you cannot hold that. I cannot put that, I cannot consider that as a core position. Given that, um, given, you know, Given that, uh, basta, basta yung core position kalangan malayo na sa puhunan mo or buying price mo, yun yung core position na tinatawag ko. Pero pag bumili ka ng stock, tapos up ka lang ng, up ka lang ng 10%, 9%, I will not consider that, ay, core position na to. Awakan ko na to. Hindi, because that can easily, 10% can easily disappear in one day. Lalo na pag nagtitrade ka ng mga stocks like KBPI, Green, or whatever stocks na mabilis ang makikat. MAH, to go, yung mga ganun, okay? Ah, ano pa? <clears throat> um, <coughs> okay, so. So, meron pa ako. So, meron pa akong for active traders this is one of the oh, um good books gusto ko yung gusto ko yung ano eh gusto ko yung theme ng um interview kasi parang Q&A na mismo with that ano eh person so we have a Q&A with Mark Minervini Dan D Dan Danger this is one of the top traders in the United States, Dan Zanger. In Dan Zanger na to, mas malapit pa to kay Mark Minervini. Dan Zanger, go to his go to his website and that nandun lahat ng gains niya. This guy is a full-time trader. This guy is better than Mark Minervini, but Dan Dan wala siyang book. Okay? And Mark Ritchie, I di ko masyado na basa to. Pero this book is good. It's Q&A. So you have one question and then they all answer. Most of them answer one by one. Di ba? Okay yun, di ba? And then the, the similar book. Similar book na yun is this. Problema lang, market wizards tackle different people. Eh. So, may topics na hindi ayoko yung mga um, commodities. So, hindi siya purely stocks. So, medyo, ano lang, minsan forex, so hindi ako interested. So, I skip. 
but you can also always adjust naman yung mga wisdom nila to cater to yung approach natin sa stock market, di ba? So, ang ginawa nilang mali dun sa trade nila sa oil, sa, 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 kung paano sila natalo before. So, Market Wizards is one of that. <coughs> one of that book na Q&A rin na approach. Um, uh, oh. Yes, uh, may tanong ako. Hmm. Di ba, meron tayong long list ng ano ng ng stocks stocks list na itinitrade? Okay. Paano mo siya pinifilter? I mean, do you go through each uh, stock or meron ka lang watch list mo na doon ka lang nagbe-base ng trades mo? Uh, before, I try to go through lahat ng stocks isa-isa one by one. Pero ngayon, um, as a full-time trader, nakikita ko everyday yung galaw ng mga stocks. I just have a couple of stocks na tinitignan ko. Kunyari, to answer your question, kanina sinabi ko na yun that I prefer stocks that are trading above the 10, 20, and 50-day moving average. And then, yung mga stocks na gumagalaw bigla, I try to put them on my short list. Ngayari, biglang gumalaw yung MAH. So, lalagay ko siya sa short list ko. Tapos, mayroon to go. Pero, not necessarily naman bibilin ko siya. But, I would like to just put them in a list so I can just monitor them. Kasi, baka may reason din naman bakit siya bilang gumalaw. And then, yung gumalaw lahat ng mga restaurants, yung gumalaw yung mga Max, Shakey's, um, yung gumalaw yung mga Max, Shakey's, sabay-sabay yan gumalaw lahat. Even though wala akong hawak, sabay-sabay silang gumalaw lahat. Boo, dito sa itong move na to, wala akong hawak na to, even though wala akong hawak, I try to put them um, sa list ko because there might be another chance if this if this forms a bullish flag here and breaks out here around 650 area, I can enter. Gets? So, um, yes, thank you. So, uh, mostly kasi I think when you are when you are pagbago lang tayo sa stocks syempre gusto mo bibili ka magpa-participate ka agad gusto mo makasakay kasi nafo-fomo ka bibili ka dito sa 6 pesos second day up pwede rin di ba? kumita ka naman kasi next day nag-up pa yan pero mabalik din sa price mo after ilang days di ba? if you don't take profit here and you want to hold it babalik yung profit mo wala yung profit mo so here I don't I don't participate I I don't participate as much here in the first move and I wait for it to stabilize and I try, I, I will try to find an entry point somewhere here after the first initial surge Gulo na ng drawing ko <clears throat> Yan. Sir John, I have a question Hi, Richard. Hi, sir. Uh, paano ba nag-work ang mga tema te thematic play? Yung mga theme down, theme, yeah, thematic play. Paano ba na yung nag-work? Lagi ko itong narinig, pero hindi ko siya naiintindihan. Ano yung thematic play? Uh, nababanggit ito. Uh, hanbawa, sabi ng isang nag-charting dito. Uh, pag walang, ang idea ko lang, ha, pag walang pagpatay ang merkado, okay. parang, Team, depende sa tema or sa balita ba yun? Related ba to sa balita or kung ano man? Uh, thematic play meaning kung anong gumagalaw na sector? Di ba? Yung, yung ba? I'm not really sure pero kung if you have uh, the wisdom or uh, idea baka pwede mo i-share with us. Thank you. Ano, ano, ba, tema, ano ba yung sinasabi mong thematic? Sorry hindi ako nakinig. Ah, ano? <laughs> <laughs> uh, narinig. Parang nabanggit dati sa sinalihan kong webinar. Okay. Patay daw yung merkado, ganyan-ganyan. So, ah, ah, so parang aalis ako ng Philippines, magpa-forex muna ako, parang gano'n? Not necessary. Siguro ranging yung market. Tapos, walang in-expect na big move. 
Mm-hmm. So parang merong isang halimbawa pag tema ng ano ng ng I'm not sure kung sector ito eh. Tama ba? Pwede, pwede nyo ba i-clarify sa akin kung sector play itong thematic play na ito? Hindi ko kasi alam kung anong, anong, anong sinasabi niya eh. I mean, kung sinasabi niya patay yung PSE, so meaning pag patay yung PSE, pumunta siyang crypto, forex, or kunyari ako, patay yung, yung PSE, medyo patay. Sa US ako nagtitrick. Parang ganun. Pwede yung thematic, pwede yung, hindi ko rin alam anong sinasabi mo, or or nagro-rotate to affect certain sector. I'm not sure. So parang uh, consumer stocks, tech stocks, parang ganoon. Yung pera na dun sa tech, wala sa consumer or yung pera na dun sa wala sa mga retail, parang ganyan. I see. Sir, with regards to that, paano nag-work yung rotation na yun sa bawat bawat sector? Sa so, ang basis ba nito is yung moving average. Halimbawa, yung leaders gumalaw na at tapos nagka nagtapish na yung leaders. Siyempre lilipat na sila. Sector based ba ang paglipat nila? Ang, ang rotational nito or individual ano talaga? Individual issues talaga. Um sector I think it's it's divided in, into three categories. Blue chips, mid caps and penny stocks. So when the blue chips go up the mid caps will follow. Blue chips went up, Ayala Core, um, Ayala Land, Tel, Globe, Umakyat. Boom. Second, to follow mid caps, meaning Maxes, Shaky, si mga nasa low tens. Diba? Umakyat yan, AGI. Diba? Afternoon, Pennies. Ma, to go. Uh, IDC, ganon. In that order. Okay, sir. Claro po. Thank you. But when a bull market run will start, the first one that will move are the banks and property. And that is clearly been the case when the market crashed. We saw Ayala Land recover back to 34 from 20 and we saw SM Prime from 20 back to 32 diba ang bilis noon we saw that property and then yung conglomerates and then yung um banks banks well yung banks mas mahina ngayon round so in that order okay okay sir claro thank you okay ah so ito so i want to talk about a mistake that I made, which is uh, maraming um, nangyayari ito sa maraming tao, which is um, catching a falling knife. Okay? So, when this happens, yung bagsak, bumabagsak na yung stock. Every day, bumabagsak. So feeling mo, mura na. So, kunyari, 100 pesos yung stock. Tapos, 50 na lang. So, bumili ka sa 50. Tapos, bilang next day, 40 na lang. So, um, that happened to me. So, I want to share my loss with you guys. So, that happened with the Manila water. Okay. So, at that point, yung Manila water, yun yung may case yung dinedemando sila ng, ah, mainit kay President Duterte siya. Diba? Ito yun. Mga bagsak na sila. Diba? Ganyan. Grabe, every day mga bagsak. Okay, this day. Okay, yan. So, nakikita niya ba? Yeah. Kita niya ba? Okay. Okay, have your Padilla. What? Raise hand. Okay, game. Raise your hand, meaning magsasalita ka ba? Avior? Avior? Saan? Wala. Anyway. <clears throat> Nag-raise siya ng hand. Kala kong sasalita siya eh. 
anyway so andyan pa ba kayo yes sir Yes. Yes. yes po. Yes, sir. yes po. So this time, yes nandito pa. Bumabagsak na to, no? So 2019 naging nag 15, 15 na lang that time. And at this um this day, at this on this day August 16 um August 16 pa no. Um I saw Metro Pacific which is the same water company to dito um previous in previous day ng Metro Pacific um umakyat na siya diba umakyat siya so this so itong day na to itong day na to umakyat na to so next day buying ako di next day ito na yung buying signal ko because I wait for the selling. I wait for the selling, selling pressure or selling to stop. And what gives me an idea na meron ng natapos na? It will have a small green candle. So next day, I will try to enter it here. So given that medyo nag-feeling smart ako, bumili ako ng Manila water. Kasi yun, Day na yun, dito. Nandito na siya eh. Sa 15 na, in that day na yun, 15 na siya. Sabi ko, sige, 15. Bili ako ng 15. I usually put my cut loss at the previous day's low, which is at 15 pesos. So sabi ko, bibili ako sa 15. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario will be 14. Talo ako ng 1 peso. Okay? That's it. Yun yung exactong ano ko, computation ko. Bumili ako doon, yun na yung nangyari. Okay? Anyway, ano ba nangyari that day? That day, lunchtime, 15. Pag open ng market, suspended lahat ng companies. Dahil, ano yung news yun? Nasuspend. Nasuspend sila lahat for one hour dahil parang may news na about, bad news about um, bad news about that water okay, Duterte. Diba? So, um, that day, so, pagbukas, 13. Pagbukas, 13 na lang. So, that went against my, um, went past my cut loss price. So, natalo ko ng malaki. Diba? Ito yan. Medyo, wait lang. Medyo matagal na yun eh. Ito, ito, ito. Ito. Ito yun, ito yun. This is the exact day. Yan, yan. Yan. So, yan. Bumibili na ako. I bought, I bought it here. I bought it here. 15. We will have 15. Put my stop at 14, the low of the previous day. So, chill out. Na suspend siya. Dahil kaaway nga ni Duterte yung mga water companies. It opened up at 13. Nakabenta ako konti sa 13.4, 13. Then it went to below 10 pa i did not panic but i sold somewhere here at um near sa 12 11 plus so here is the um, so wala na akong magagawa dito i i call this a black swan because sino spend nila in trading eh if they didn't suspend the trading resume at 15 pesos pag pababa ng 14 mabebenta ko siya Problema, they halted, hinalt nila. So medyo naiinis ako doon sa play na yun kasi yung DMCI hindi halted. MPI lang sa MWC pero tatlo sila involved sa case na yun. So habang 
open yung DMCI, down yung DMCI that day. Siyempre, lahat ng merong MPI at saka Manila Water, nagpanik na rin. So, wala nang magagawa. So, I sold here at a loss. So, I want to share with you the trades that I made. Uh, it's going to be this one. <laughs> Ito. Okay, okay. Ito. Okay. So, everyone can see this? Yes. Ito. Binili ko sa 14. 300,000 shares. So expect to, lo to lose 300k worst case scenario. Pero that wa that didn't happen. So I tried to sell it when it opened. It opened at 13.50. Nakabenta ako doon. I sold. I hesitated and sold some at 13. And then you can see me here. I sold some at 11 pa nga. And then ito sa closing towards the close. 12.30, 12.50. Um, so uh, in that particular day, um, there was no buying, clear buying sign. And then, bumili ako. Which, well, dapat naman may plan ako na mag-cut sa 14, pero hindi ko na-expect na bumaba doon. Yet. And so, in hindsight, okay lang yung trade na yun dapat, pero nangyari na suspend, so natalo pa ako. So if, but lesson, also the, the lesson here is, what if hindi ko binenta sa 12.50, inawakan ko lang yung shares ko ng 14. Wala na. Next day, 11. Next day, nag-hope ka, 10. Next day, nag-hope ka, 9. Tapos, naging 5. So, ano nangyari doon? Patay ka na. So, if I didn't cut here at 13, 12, 50 area, I would have lost more than 60%, 60% more. So that is one of the most important things also that you need to take consider that anything can happen and the stock from 20 can go until five. Diba? Anything is possible. <clears throat> so, um, laki ng talo ko. So, black swan kasi nag-suspend. So, good trade siya because I still cut, the, I still sold and cut my losses. If hindi ko kinat yun, ubos yung pera dun. Kasi nag-550 to. And in that trade, you will see me in that trade, you will see me re-entering Manila water here at 650 and then bumagsak pa ulit so I cut I sold it at 6 pesos and then you can see me re-enter it again when the bounce play when the bounce play na parameters nag-set up yung parameters for that bounce play I re-entered it again and then sold it on the rally the next day pero nabawi ko lang itinalo ko dahas so I sold it at around 7.50 um, looking back at the chart I bought it I bought it here I bought it here and I bought it bumili ako dito saka dito Sold it at 7.50 around here next day. Pero pag hinawakan ko pa siya, nag, nag, nag 11 pa. So again, another mistake there is um, takot din ako. So pinenta ko lahat. But if you, uh, if you want to follow again the rules, you, have, you can keep some and then umakyat pa. And then you could have, I could have rode 7 pesos to 10 pesos, another easy 3 peso. 3 peso na gain. Diba? 
So that talks about that trade has a lot of lessons. So diba? one, never catch the falling knife. Two, cut, cut the losses immediately if you're not sure what's going to happen. And then four, um, usually kasi when natatalo tayo sa mga certain stocks, you develop a feeling towards it. Ay, ayoko na to. Diba? Or something. So true. But then after ilan days, five na lang siya. Um, birabant, may opportunity. So, uh, nag-try ako. So, nabawi ko rin yung loss. Buti na lang. So, that gave me uh, confidence to get back to um, get my confidence back. So, on the next topic is how do you handle how do you handle the losing streaks? And how do you handle that thing? So, given that losing streak, um, I lost 700,000 in a bear market environment. So, I go, so what, how do you handle it? You have to take it one trade at a time and take it as smaller, take small wins as possible. So that's why maybe I sold everything agad. Hindi ko na inantay, hindi na ako nagtira ng half, binento ko agad lahat. Because of, um, because gusto ko nga bumawi. So small, small trades, um, one trade at a time to keep you, to give you confidence Give, to bring back your confidence one trade at a time because if you trade more and more and more that what will happen is self-sabotage your account will just dwindle down because you keep losing and losing and losing by only way to to regain that confidence is to get a winning trade so you have to do it one by one meaning one trade at a time so after pag natalo pa yung trade mo okay lang move on one more trade, smaller risk, and one more trade, smaller risk until you gain back the confidence. Because that is a big part of the trading part of the trading ano, mentality. Confidence is one of the most important things in trading. Once you don't have it or you lose it, it's gonna be hard to trigger trades, trigger buying buying trades because you are scared. Diba? So that's um that's a lot of um so yeah that's a uh, one thing that you should focus on and then um and then um ano ba ba? so so you focus more usually just I just want um people who here you monitor trade just focus on the stocks that um stocks that really matter okay so meaning non um stocks that are in play uh na gusto mo ganyan hindi gana yung parang ay meron yung ano market ni mga fa ganyan for me it doesn't really matter if umakyat siya diba so uy umakyat yung mah market ng more than 50%. It doesn't really affect me because it wasn't in my plan. Well, it it was in my watch list and and I think if it kahit mabibili ko siya, I would have bought maximum of 500,000 shares or 300 lang. So um not hindi ako na for FOMO. Uh, but I'm just watching it. <clears throat> but for the um, smaller retail investors, those are the setups that um, are really, really the opportunity para kumita. Because you can, you can just move, buy and sell in and out very, very quick compared to people with bigger um bigger trading capital so people with bigger trading capital will not participate in the those kinds of um stocks 
or if they participate man, they will just participate with a smaller amount. <coughs> the smaller amount. And then, um, diba? so if you buy, if you buy 100,000 at one, the 180, I made 80,000. And percentage wise, that's one good trade. I marami rin ako magagawa sa 80,000 pesos. Pero while doing that, Habang gumagalaw yung MAH, may ibang gumagalaw pang stocks in the market. So, I try my best to focus. If I buy MAH, my focus will be on MAH. And with two, may, kung may gumalaw na blue chips, na tell. Na, eh, nandun ako sa MAH. Kasi medyo volatile. Gusto ko siya bantayan. So my time will be divided, my focus will be divided into three or four. Eh, capital, capital injected in that penny stock is just small compared to the other movers that, will, that can move potentially. So why will I waste my time in that stock if I'm looking for the other ones? Diba? So you have to just focus on the ones that you want or in your plan to take to make the most out of the trading day and to have that focus because if you are trading too much if you're trading five stocks at the same time five stocks binabantay mo tas yung five din magulo rin or volatile up and down meron kang tugo meron kang mah meron kang kung ano anong penny stock that will be very very um taxing on your um mental Ano, mental, ang tawag dun? Mental capacity natin can only handle, siguro ako, ako hanggang tatlo lang. Five maximum. Okay, so, I think, I think, um, I think I've talked about most of the stuff that I want to talk about. So, we can start now by, if you have any questions, or whatever we can just have an op uh, quick open forum quick q and a whatever you want to talk about hi sir i have a question correct uh nagma matter ba kasi sa decision making mo kung bibili or mag uh o magbebenta yung halimbawa day of the week o kaya week of the month kaya hmm. quarter of the year O kaya sa mas malita time frame, uh, yung minutes, anbawa, hourly, kumpara, uh, kumpara sa, ay, parang, eh, anbawa, ganun na lang, day of the week, week of the month, ganyan. Mag-matter ba pag nagde-decide ka kung kilos ka na, mag lalagay ka na ng position mo? Nag-matter ba yung time frame? Ano? Anbawa, sir, meron kong setup na inaabangan. <laughs> Tapos uh, <laughs> para magmaterialize yung setup. Ang naobserba ko kasi every time matatapos ang month or every time matatapos ang week, merong setup na akala mo lalag malalaglag na siya, tas bigla siyang aangat. Tas following next week, meron ng another candle, di ba? So, ina ang observation. Hindi ko, gusto ko lang i-confirm, sir, kung yung observation ko ay valid or or in invalid. Ah, hindi, ako hindi ko, I don't pay attention to the Parang, ay, Friday na, bebenta, mag Friday na, magkakaroon na. Ah, hindi, walang kaya, 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 Okay, sir, sige, sir, thank you. Walang, do it, do it, oh, do it, walang kaya, walang kaya, walang uh, okay, anyway. I'll go. Have your raise your naka raise your hand. Wala. If you want to talk, you can unmute yourself and talk and ask questions. Sir, ako may question po. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, clearly, yung uh, pure gold is an outlier stock since uptrend siya. Uh, question lang sa decision making nyo po, sir. Uh, consider nyo ba 
kasi nakikita ko sa napapanood ko sa halftime show na sinisilip niya yung global. So, DJI, SPX. If ever ba na mauntog siya, yung global, so parang, 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 para sa akin, leading indicator yun sa global, pag nauntog yun, most likely, ah, uh, Bababa. Sa Philippine Index is uh, magkakaroon siya ng reaction. So, meaning to say, since uh, in particular ako dun sa, since outlier yung pure gold, mag-stick ka ba sa plan mo na hawakan mo lang siya over pag nauntog yun sa global tapos nakakaroon ng surge pababa yung index, magtitrim ka ng position mo? Yun po yung gusto kong i-clarify lang. If kunyari yung position mo walang nangyari, you can you can lighten up or just follow your um, stop. Kasi kunyari bumagsak yung global markets tapos yung hawak, yung hawak mong stock, let's say pure gold, tapos hindi siya bumagsak that day. Ano ba meaning nun? Ba't hindi siya bumagsak? Meaning, malamang mas malakas siya. Kasi there must be a reason why it's not going down. Correct? But if you are just, if bumili ka rin at the same price, and then takot ka, baka magkaroon ng global correction, you can lighten up your position kung hindi ka pa ahead in that particular stock. Right? Kasi, kasi naulog na yung Dow Jones ng 10% last week. Tapos yung pure gold na sa 52 week high pa rin. Diba? So if you're not if you're gonna base your all your decisions only based sa US, galaw ng US market, it's not gonna be the same. Meron time last week up in US market one night before up ng malaki and the next day in Philippines sobrang down. Diba? Last week. Okay, sir. Make, make sense. Thank you po. Hello, sir. Yo. Hello, sir. Question. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, kasi yung nakita ko sa portfolio nyo medyo malaki, di ba? So, meron ba kayong parang certain percentage like weekly? Kung naman, naka 5% na kayo this week or parang this month naka 5% parang okay na kayo doon next, next month naman ulit? Uh, hindi. Uh, wala akong certain percentage but pag natatalo ka at a certain percentage doon ako nag-adjust so let's say you you lose um, 3% in one week I try to lessen my position or let's say 5% I try, I try to change one by one na lang ulit but if it's um, gaining wise, gaining 10%, 10%, 15%, 20%, I don't stop. Because when you are in that stage, um, meaning trading in that zone, you just have to keep on pounding it. Kasi alam mo na you are in the right market, all your decisions are inside lahat click. So you just have to just go. Because um, exactly, may example ako eh, isang student ko, hindi ko siya eh, na wala siya dito. Parang for the last five days, parang lahat ng binibili niya, up lang ng up. Parang he was, so, so sabi ko, just go, bili ka lang, go lang ng go. So, yun. So, na-amaze din nga ako dahil lahat, na, dami niya nahuhuli. Na hindi ko nahuhuli. So, that's called in the zone. I'm making the best decisions and then moving on to the next stock. Bilang meaning, unconsciously doing your thing. And then when you when that streak stops, you have to stop also. So parang so in essence, parang ano lang yun eh. Let's say. Let's say basketball player ka. Shoot ka na ng shoot. Tapos shoot naman lahat ng shoot eh. So hindi ka naman titigil mag-shoot. 
hanggang mag-miss ka ng 3 straight. Okay, di ayaw mo na. Eh, eh kung shoot ka ng shoot, oh, 10 straight pasok. Oh, malamang yung 11 mo, shoot mo pa rin. Yung 12, mag-shoot ka pa rin. Pag nag-miss ka on the 13th attempt, mag nag-miss ka ng 4 straight, then you try to stop. Ay, shit. Sobra na to. Diba? So, masyado ng ano. Hindi, so, that's called um, partly, mom, partly momentum also. Diba? <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Hello? Sir, question. Sa, ano, huh? sa pagdating sa entry price, huh? meron ka bang, kunwari, uh, may plano tayo na point of entry. Tapos, pagkakita mo ng market, hindi mo na pasukan yung point of entry mo. Meron ka bang certain range, range ng threshold? Ngari, parang 2% from the entry, pwede ka pa rin pumasok na nandun. Or kapag ka lumagpas sa sa point of entry mo, hintayin mo na lang na bumalik dun sa specific area na um, the Siguro, siguro, siguro the, siguro 2% to 3% is fine. But I always adjust the size. Ano yung ibig sabihin nung adjust the size? Kapag uh, mas lagpas na ng point of entry, mas maliit na yung size? Correct. Because all of the, because uh, um, remember at any given trade, you have a certain amount that you want to lose. So let's say, let's say every trade, gusto mo matalo ka lang ng 10,000 pesos. So when you're buying something that went up, eh, bibilin mo sa 12. 12.50 na. So yung cut mo, 12. Tapos yung cut mo, bibili ka sa 12, cut mo 11, 1 peso, 10,000 shares approximately, at eh, 12.50 na. So pag bumili ka ng 10,000 shares sa 12.50, when it goes back to 11, your loss will be more than 10K. So I if you still want to chase it at that price, you need to adjust your position size. Okay, thank you. And that's one of the most important things that you can do in trading. Ano ba? Ano ba yung babaan? Sure question. Quick question lang. Go, 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 go. Yung ano po ba? Yung recording nito? Ipapost nyo somewhere or ano? Ano? Yung recording po nung itong ano nyo? Itong parang mini seminar na to? Mm. Parang ipapost nyo ba somewhere or? Hindi ko sure. <laughs> para mabalikan niya ano. Uh, hindi ko pa, hindi pa ako decided on that. Okay. Gumi siguro ano na lang. Uh, ano bang daily routine mo as a trading champion para may insight naman kami kung paano how to go about on our day. Hello mo. Wala lo, wala. Just Kung pwede mag-exercise before trading day, pwede. After trading, pwede ka rin mag... mag <clears throat> after trading, pwede ka rin magpahinga. Wala. Same lang. Wala namang routine eh. Just, just um, go over the charts. Ako, I do the charting at night. And then... Um, um, more, more, dati morning. So, minsan morning and night. Pero now, I'm... I have a U, um, U, may US trading din ako. So at night, US trading. So minsan sa so morning, Philippine, yung plan ng Philippines, nandun na rin. Um, yun lang. Nothing extraordinary. Sir, uh, buong araw ka bang nakatutok sa monitor mo? Trading hours. Uh, as much as possible, yes. Pero kung wala ka namang masyadong big positions, hindi naman siguro kailangan. Pero wala naman ako siguro ibang gagawin. Na kung may gagawin lang ng more important 
na mas na hindi ako wala na akong choice but if I'm not doing anything nakatingin ako pero kung wala na talaga akong position hindi na ako titingin masyado parang last 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 month parang nanunod nanunod ako ng NBA na lang eh morning sa market sa market so walang nangyayari okay sir thank you konti lang nagtatanong ah pero maraming participants <laughs> sir question po ulit okay yung yung kanina po diba sabi niyo kasi given yung size ng court niyo ngayon tapos yung issue sa FOMO na pinag-usapan kanina lang sabi niyo for example pagtataas si ma so hindi niyo na pinipay attention yun kasi parang hindi niyo siya na ano na shortlist pero hindi niyo talaga siya parang inaano kasi yung naging issue issue ko ngayon sir parang pag may gumalaw doon pa rin naman sa mga tinitingnan ko siya pero parang na napopomo kasi ako so parang sa point of view ng medyo mas maliit yung yung port parang paano ko gagawin yung transition na yun, yung mag-adjust na hindi masyadong magpomo na uh, Or, kung kung nasa plan mo na kasi ako ako plano ko rin siya bilhin i-try bilhin pero hindi ko binili na fomo ko pag binili ko tapos bilang binenta ko tapos bilang umakyat yung fomo <laughs> yung nag-work sa akin yung fomo pero kunyari gusto ko siya bilhin tapos hindi ko naman trinigay kasi parang Siyempre, minsan sabi mo, ay, tinatamad ako, ganyan, di akit to. Tapos bilang dumiretso yung ganun, parang fault, fault, fault ko na yun eh, na hindi ko siya trinigger, di ba? So parang sayang naman, sayang, sayang, sayang. Pero, actually, nakatingin na talaga ako. Gusto ko rin mag-trigger. As in, mag-trigger na talaga rin ako. Around, um, 1, 1.05 yata, 1.10 to 1.05, titrigger rin ko na dapat talaga. But, I was so busy. May marami akong ibang position that time that I didn't want to add, add additional risk exposure to. Pero kung di kung wala akong hawak ng ibang stocks, I'm pretty okay. sure that na, na bumili ako noon. Sure ako. Say. <laughs> Kasi sir sa ano, for example sa sa MAH. Um Earlier this week ata, nakabili ako sa kanya ng ano, 1.70. Mm-hmm. Tapos medyo inline po siya dun sa ano ko, sa, sa isang strategy ko na sa parang pag once nakaupo, tapos nag, medyo nag umuupo yung price sa 50 MA, talagang inano ko na yan na parang may tendency na aakit po talaga. So, pero parang the next couple of days na init ako. Tapos binenta ko for ano lang, halos 4 points above lang parang 4 plus four lang. Tapos, mm-hmm. yun. Yun nga. <laughs> the, the, follow, the next days na nag-follow, ayun na. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yep. So, um, hindi ako ent- hindi ako enter dito. Baka, actually, enter ako, dito dapat bibili ako, pero hindi ako bumili. So, yeah. dito yung entry point ko eh. Somewhere here. Pero malayo na kasi from 180. So nandito nakita, mm-hmm. nakita ko siya two na eh. So hindi ko na hindi ko na pinabol dito sa two actually. This this was the reason. Okay, okay. I'm buy it here dapat. But at two two something that is chasing the price already. So yes. hindi ko na siya um <clears throat> you got to to chase, okay? Ah. Okay. Um, okay itong ano natin na first Zoom meeting natin, no? Tag niyo ako sa Instagram or sa Instagram na about para maan natin document natin yung <clears throat> meeting natin if it's if it's very very useful or not. Okay. Uh, Question. Question. Mm-hmm. Kapag ba ang, ang isang stocks nasa nasa overbought level na, advisable pa rin ba siya ang bilhin? Um, ano meaning ng overbought? Yung RSI niya. Um, uh, adv- 
depend depend kasi advisable siya bilhin but the the in risk mo is in probability of it going higher is also less but but marami kasing stocks na overbought na umaket kahit na overbought umaket pa rin eh. so you, you just have to i think adjust the size and risk if ever you want to buy something that is overbought or you have to control and wait for it to correct konte okay okay diba tama okay sure thank you ano pa uh, sir question po okay Gano'n kalaki yung weight say sir ng ano ng stocks in play? Kasi let's say sabihin natin uh, in a bull market tapos lahat siya kunyari ginawa mo yung homework mo naka-flag formation tapos uh, ando na yung criteria na tinuturo mo sir sa half time show liquid tapos may formation na so Pero dun sa, iba sir, kasama rin yung risk-reward. Sabihin natin, pare-pareha siya. Uh, ano ipaprioritize mo po ba sir yung, uh, yung issues na may stocks in play? Kung, kung parang, soba, parang yung list mo sobrang dami? Yes sir, yes sir. Kung... Kunya so yung tinatanong mo kung marami kang stocks na gusto bilhin kung ano yung bibilhin mo ba yung ba yun or what Yes sir kung ano yung mas dapat i-prioritize po um, stocks in play so so prioritize natin yung stocks in play kasi tawag nga doon stocks in play di ba so so dun nandun yung, yung flow ng um, money flow so kunyari ngayon kunyari let's say at the current Philippine environment stocks in play yung mga third liners MAH IDC ano ganyan so if you have a list tapos meron kang list na 10 stocks tapos meron dun uh, stocks in play mo yung mga penny stocks tapos meron, tapos meron dun yung may biglang meron dun SM so, siyempre, ipaprioritize ko yung mga penny stocks kasi for the week, yung gumagalaw, halos lahat, puro yung mga sector na yun. Eh. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Thank you po. Sir, um, I have a question. Um, Hello po. Um, I noticed na you're um, looking at more yung short terms, yung indicators mo. How, how long is a short period po? Is it like two weeks or yeah, just one week or um? two, uh, two weeks. Pwede rin one, two weeks to one month. It de depends naman kasi kunyari two weeks to one month pero it depends kasi kung ano yung goal mo. Kunyari, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, nakabili ka nung, nakabili ka, kunyari, yung, yung nagkagulo. Na, na, nabili mo yung, nabili mo yung Ayala Land sa 22 pesos. O ganun. Tapos nag-34 na. So, sabi mo, pwede, pwede mo na, I'm, parang, pwede mo na kunin yung pera sa 34 kung nabili mo sa 22. Pero, kaya rin, mo, baka never na ulit pupuntang 22 yun, why not just hold on to it for the, until next year? Di ba? Parang ganun. So, pwedeng long term na ganun, pwedeng ganun din. Or pwede mong sabihin naman, ay, kumita na ako, 22 to 34, 33. O, benta ko na. Problema mo, kailangan kang maghanap ng bagong stocks na bibili naman to make your capital more efficient. Pero if you, if you are not mas hindi ka masyadong active, you can just choose to hold hold it or sell some and hold it and then look for other value stocks. But 
most of the traders naman dito kasi we want to capitalize on making the most out of our capital. Meaning, parang benta mo to, tapos lipat ka sa mga hindi pa gumagalas, umakyat, benta mo doon. Pero, mahirap din naman gawin yun. Kasi, paano mo malalaman kung ano yung next na gagalaw pag binenta mo yung isang stock mo. Mamaya, pag binenta mo yun, umakyat pa ulit yun. Tapos yung ibang bagong binili, buhagsak. So, a lot of different things in scenario can happen also. All right, thank you po. Um, I'm just asking because I'm not the parang momentum type of trader. So I usually like buy and hold for a few weeks. Tapos minsan, um, not sure whether my indicators or if I understood my indicators correctly. Parang ganun. So yeah, thank you for the clarity. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Yun, um lang. More than two hours na pala tayo dito. So, uh, what else? Uh, one, one thing that one thing that um, sometimes na napapansin ko is if yung may binili kang stock tapos makit agad ng 50% or something in two days, three days, I usually want to take the money because parang hindi mo naman expect may binili ka tapos minsan umakyat ng 50% bigla hindi mo alam bakit kukunin ko yung pera kasi wala naman sa expectation ko yun. So that's one thing I learned. Kasi dati <clears throat> nangyari yun tapos hindi ko binenta so in-expect ko uy um, core position then mamaya mawawala yung gain ko. So, so that's what Sometimes that happens. So when that happens, you have to force yourself to take the money. So that happened to me. That happened to me once. I wasn't expecting a move. And then um binenta ko siya. Ito. Ito yung time yung KPPI nag parang nagkakaroon ng wild, nag-go wild yung KPPI. So um, I tried to enter here. I tried to enter here. Uh, this one. Then, then, kumita na ako. Hindi ko binenta. Bumalik, nawala. Okay, okay lang. <clears throat> and then, this is just accumulate. In in sinasabi natin accumulation mode. Hindi mo ba? I, I was buying here and I put my stop at 5 pesos dito sa lower end ng range. Dito sa 5. Yeah. Okay, yan. Tapos, bumibili ako dito. Tapos, bumibili ako dito. Tapos, bilang nag-break out. So, yung nag-break out, sa, nakita ko above 722. Eh, in previous, in last month, nandiyan na rin ako eh. Sabi, never nag-break. Bumili rin ako sa 7, dito, 7.23. Tapos bumagsak eh. So, alam na alam ko. Sabi ko, uy, 7.40 na. Alam na alam ko na to. Sabi ko, first time yun ah. So, bumili ako 7.50. Okay. Okay na. At the end of the day, laka ng up. Ceiling. Okay, ceiling. So, ginawa ko, nagbenta ako ng konti. The next day, hindi ko alam in-expect, nag-almost ceiling siya. So, so, binenta ko lahat. Okay? Binenta ko lahat. So, if you didn't take the money, if you didn't take the money here, if you didn't take the money at 50% um, up here, sa 9 plus, and if you didn't take the money here at 13 or 12, you imagine mo magta 20 pesos, after one day, it went back to 7. So from the high, it went back to down 45%. Right? So, yun yung take the money. Um, so, 
this is the trade that I made. Ipo ko yun na inip dun sa accumulation na space. This is this is the trade that I made here. And binenta ka ako sa high 1310 1320 high 13 ako nakabenta 12.98 oh ba na siya and then ano napansin mo next day binili ko na lang siya ulit tapos binenta ko lang after one day and then i just want to share this this was the next trade after the sell down, binili ko ulit dito. Makikap ulit, binenta ko na. Or dito, binili ko ulit dito, binenta ko na dito. <coughs> right? So, pag bumili ka naman dito sa ceiling, and hindi ka mabilis, it can go back down again very, very, very fast. Um... Hindi, hindi, hindi ako na inip because um, may inip ka lang naman if you, you need the um, you need the capital to lilipat mo sa ibang stocks. So when I bought it, I have other, I have more free cash. That's why I didn't sell it. Pero malapit na mag-5 dito, dito sa area na to, malapit na yun sa 5 pesos. Dito malapit na yun magbenta dito kasi ito yung 50 DMA support. Malapit na to. So if it if this didn't happen, pag, pag bumagsak to bigla dito, I would have been, bibenta ko doon. Nakakainip talaga yung accumulation phase. And that's one of my hates phase. Kasi, um, sinasabi ko, accumulation phase can last um, from different time frames. So, merong accumulation phase na one month, may accumulation, yung mga tinuruan ko ngayon, di ba sinabi ko, merong accumulation phase na one month, two months, merong one year, merong two years. So, in this case, mas mabilis na yung accumulation niya because the momentum momentum was still there during that accumulation phase. So that's why I put my momentum indicator if it's if it's here if it dito, ito yung momentum indicator natin na ginagamit ko this is above 30 above 30 meaning niyan may momentum. So here during this whole accumulation phase this whole accumulation phase, momentum is going down, but still above 30. This is called the ADX. So this is called momentum. Momentum, in accumulating momentum, boom. So mas mabilis yung upyat. Yan, yan. Okay. <clears throat> but if naiinip ka kasi sometimes during accumulation you tend sa sobrang taga nakakalimutan mo rin siya so the best way to do it is bumili ka ng konting konting shares para kahit pa paano na dun sa portfolio mo para pag nakita mo uy ba't uma bilang umakit tong stock na to parang ito serve as an alert if you don't have if you don't use alerts so investagrams it will serve as an alert also so bili ka ng 100 shares of yung gusto mong stock oh yeah pakita mo sa portfolio mo uy but up na ng 10% to meaning noon uy gumagalaw na bigla so that will be another way of alerting yourself na uy gumagalaw na you don't need to buy a lot during that accumulation phase kasi nga matagal yon and no one knows when that will happen so, iba-ibang time frame from iba-ibang stocks. Diba? So, yun yun. yun, yun.
Okay. Next, next, next. Uh, sir, question. Oh. Uh, so, market phase ngayon, uh, for example, kagaya nung sa share mo dun sa GFC trade, hmm. since parang, ano siya, di ba, mean reversion trade. Pag, uh, di ba, yung idea is parang sell on rally, pag mga, ano lang ba, sir, mga 6% from uh, bago mag mo, usually ba, tapos strong candle, Usually ba nagtitrim ka na nun or gusto mo na tatamaan talaga yung TP mo which is yung target na, na nituro mo it's either 10 MA or 20 MA. Nag-hold ka pa ba? Remember, yung sa JFC ko, binento ko siya before mag-hit yung 10 MA. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Pero normally sir, pagka ikaw, hindi mo na siya inaray strong candle siya. Uh, yung normal mo bang ginagawa is nagtitrim ka na or yes nagtitrim ka na pero may nagtitira ka pa ng konting position pa, baka si iba parang sell half ka tapos Hintang 20 baka may, may follow through pa yes that's that's the idea okay thank you sir unique lesson <clears throat> What are... Hindi ko sure anong mean ng unique lessons eh. Uh, uh, usually, usually, um, pagbago ka, you want to go all in kasi feeling mo kasi maliit yung capital mo. So parang, ay, wala lang to, gano'n. But that is, um, that's why most of the people na nagsastart, natatalo nila lahat because tingin nila mali yung capital nila. So if they have 100,000, 50,000, they just buy it all, all in in one stock. And then if it goes wrong, malaki yung talo nila. So that's one of the mistakes that everyone's making. So at least if you still have um, 100,000 divided into three, maximum 30K per stock. Or if you're very confident, 50. But if you do it all in one if you do it all in 100k 50k lahat all in in one in one um stock ano ba yung chances no na kikita ka doon sa pagbili mo noon lalo na lalo na paano na pag in all in mo yon mas lalo ka pang matatakot because all of your capital is at risk and exposed in that single stock so parang okay, nandun na lahat, all in. And compared to 100K, you bought three, you have three chances. Yung pwedeng umakit yung dalawa, tapos isa talo. E ito, in all in mo sa isa, at tapos napili mo yung natalo. Tapos yung isa umakit na. Bibenta mo to, bibili ka ng umakyat, pagbili mo ng umakyat, pwedeng bumaba na rin after nun. So yun yung nangyayari. Bibenta mo to, bibili mo isa, pagbili mo ng isa, momentum bilang pa-correct na pala ulit, matatalo ka ulit. Tapos yung binenta mo, tapos na pala mag-accumulate, aakit ulit. Inainis ka kasi binenta mo na yun. So that what, that's what happens usually before. Parang mababounce ka from one stock to another. Kasi gusto mo mahuli yung mga gumagalaw. Hindi ka masyadong patient. Oo. Relate much. I buy, I buy on the breakout price, and then I don't buy. I buy on the breakout price because that parating tinatrong yan. So what if breakout price is a six pesos, tapos na close seven. So bibili ka sa closing price na lang sa seven. Malamang hindi, di ba? <clears throat> So, uh, CPSEC online. <clears throat> Bumi, dun sa, ano, dun sa breakout price na sinabi mo, ah. uh, di ba yung kanina sa entry point up to 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%,
for example kasi kaha uh, nung isang araw uh, ag break out yung tel sa one one eighty na resistance niya so nung pumili ako na sa one two eight na I want to wait na siya, which is around a bit more than 2%. Okay. Only to have the end day na bumaba pa siya as low as I think nasa 1, 140. So, oh, then, bumaba, then, 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 meron din ako that day. So, Bilin, so parang sobrang nanghinayang ako kasi parang akala ko tuloy-tuloy na yung breakout niya. Tapos biglang nag-break siya pa baba. Buti na hindi ako mabot sa lowest. So, that is the risk that, kunyari, that that is the risk that most that is that is very very common no iba breakout price mo kunya um, um 6 or 1 2 to sabi natin ganito um okay ito okay, okay. Uh, so yan so ito yung nangyari last Gulat din ako eh, di ba? So I plot this line here, which is our breakout point. So dito ka bumili. Dito tayo bumili. Tama? Yes, yes, yes. Yan mismo. Dito tayo bumili. Correct. Tapos nag-close down. Okay, tama. So, um, yung, gusto, yung um, approach dito is, you wait for... If you want to be safe, you wait for this yung nangyari nung Friday. When this happens, you wait for it to correct somewhere here or pause here or you buy it here para sure ka na na break out siya. Get so ba? pag ganyan bumi, uh, safer kapag uh, nag-confirm yung breakout price sa close. Kung yeah. yung closing price uh, above the breakout breakout point, uh -huh. then that's a safer time to buy. No? Uh -huh. And then a um, more safer approach if if you want to buy it here and di ka sure. Kasi, kasi if you are if you if you are trying to anticipate the breakout, I'm sure bibili ka somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere here. But in reality, nasa isang malaking box lang siya. Correct? You know, so nandyan lang siya eh. Nandyan lang siya eh. So you have to put your, pag bumili ka dito, yung calculate mo yung risk mo, lagay mo dito sa baba, 1,080. Gets mo? Kasi this is just, a, ito yung yes, sinasabi natin eh. Hindi mo naman malalaman kailan ito mag-breakout eh. Dito, itong part na to, pwede naman tumuloy ito eh. After na itong day na to, pwede naman tumuloy eh. Pero hindi. After na itong day na to, next day, pwede naman umakit dito. Pero hindi. Ito, hindi na to. Kala mo, akit next day. Kala mo, just nag-fake pa. Tapos ngayon, umakit pa. Ngayon, totoo na. Right? So, ang um, opportunity, ang um, um, opportunity to improve ko that time was yung stop loss ko should have been at the breakout price, not at the uh, support. Sorry? Yung, yung mistake ko that time, ang stop loss ko dapat is at the break, breakout price na 1180 instead dun sa support na 1160 or 1150. Nung sa 10 MA niya. Since bumili ka above 1200, di ba? Yes, yes. Yes, correct, correct, correct. Correct. Okay, thank you. Um, full. Full agad. If I can, if I, if I can, I can, I, I want to buy the full. I am ah, na tuturo. You know, um, the Intel listed just a US stock exchange. So it's called PHI. Did I mean chart? Nung Thursday, pa, nung, nung Wednesday pa lang, nag break out na to. Nag break out na siya. Eh. Diba? So 24, the, 24. No Wednesday pa lang, $24 na siya. So, $24 times 51, let's see, 50 point, gan yun. 
$24 times 50, 51. 1, 1, 2, 2, 4 na. Dito, 1, 2, 2, 4 na dapat yung price niya ditong day na to. Tapos nangyari, that day, hindi pa siya 1, 2, 2, 4. Get nyo? Get nyo? So, okay. Uh, okay. Ngayon, ngayon, I'm wondering why is there a big difference yun sa PLDT listed sa USA sa yung PLDT listed dito sa Philippines. So there's a, someone buying it dito, someone buying it um, secretly or whatever, volume volume is up significantly and then it's breaking out. Now it's at, now it's at 24.85. If you calculate 24.85 times 51, that's around 1,267. Pero ngayon, yung price natin, 1,227 pa lang. So does that, that make sense? May, may parang malaking discrepancy. Any more? Dana? Three questions. Last, last five questions. Okay. Sir, do you also do uh, trend following? Mm, yes. Oh, I know. I mean, ano, the, uh, is there any criteria na, okay, parang candidate to for trend following? Or if I feel that, if parang, I... Parang, parang mo na... If, if, if nabili ko siya at a cheap, feeling ko at a cheaper price sa base from the breakout and it breaks out, and the price breaks away, moves away more than 20% from my buying price, I try my best to ride it out. Mm -hmm. And then, I inexplain ko yun ah. Um, ay, wala, hindi pala, hindi pala siya sa ano. Inexplain ko siya, pero hindi yata nakashare sa ano, nasa, nasa premium, ano siya. Nasa premium, ano siya, eto. Yung dating dati pa to eh. To, to, to. Nakita niya ba? Yep. Okay. Tagal na, tagal na na to. 2016. Okay, so nabili ko siya. Tinan mo to. This has a long consolidation pattern. Gano katagal? Sobrang tagal. How many months is this? November 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 months. Diba? 6 months of consolidation. And then, I entered here. Boom, first pop. This what this this first pop here was a sign, pero hindi ko binili. But you can see it clearly here that I use momentum indicator above thirty. Siya. This is the accumulation with momentum. So alam ko na. So when this happened, breakout, bumili ako. Actually, tulog ako niyan eh. Tapos nakita ko, one na. Sabi ko, ito na yun. Kasi forever, never nag one yan eh. So bumili ako ng 1.05. One and then, this is the setup that I keep telling everyone. After that breakout, Intel, pwede mangyari ganito. Two pause days. And then it will continue higher. 
So this is what I always teach. So this is a glimpse of if you want to be, if you want, ito na yung medyo part na tinuturo ko. So dito nag-add ako, boom, 105, add. First buy, second buy. Sold one fourth here, sold one fourth here. Riding it out, then sold all here. So this is trend following. But along the way, in, but along the way, this is our 344% gain. Along the way, while I was selling here, di ba, benta ako dito. Trim, trim, sell all here. Di ba? Get following? Are you following? Hindi po nagalaw yung screen. Sir, nag-freeze yung screen. Nag Saan nag-freeze? Uh, now lang po. Tapos enter. Wala pong gumagalaw. Hindi po gumagalaw yung cursor. Hindi nag-freeze. Uh, Kung namin nakita yung mga drawing-drawing niyo po. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Sorry, sir. Ayan. Game? Ayan. Yeah. Thank you po. Ano, ano yung last na sinabi ko? Yung sa selling na po kayo. Ah, di ba nagbenta ako nagbenta ako 1/4 kasi di ba natakot ako kasi nag bumalik eh. Okay? Dito. So nagbenta ako 1/4. Tapos nagbenta ulit ako 1/4 dito. Tapos nagbenta ulit, nagbenta ako lahat dito. Okay? That is a 344% gain. Follow? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. So Ito yung trend, ito yung ginawa kong trend following. So meaning, ni-ride ko lang hanggang, ni-ride ko lang hanggang mag-break. Actually, hindi ko nga inantay mag-break ng 10-day. Pag nag-trend following ka, antay mo yung 10-day break dito sa, dito sa day na to, dyan mo ibibenta lahat. Correct? Yes, sir. So, while I was doing all this, hawak ko yung core position ko sa dito sa below 1. That is the core position na binenta ko sa 1.4, 1.20, 1.215, 1.210, binenta ko lahat yun. But along the way, along the way, this is the momentum setup that, uh, na sobra akong, ito na yung favorite ko eh. So along the way, um, tinitrade ko rin siya. So, Meron akong trading position, binili ko dito. Tapos binenta ko dito. Tapos nag pullback, binili ko dito. Tapos binenta ko dito. Tapos binili ko dito. Tapos binenta ko dito. Pero that is another position, trading position na siya. Apart from the core position that I have here. And then I sold all here. Okay. Thanks, sir. Nakashare siya sa ano eh. Nakashare siya sa premium mem sa website. Hindi ko yata na-share sa public. <coughs> okay. Ano? Last, ano? Last, last three questions. May chat pala. Sorry, sorry. Uh, with a small with a small trading account, you have to grow it, diba? So, um, 100k, turn, magiging 200k, slowly. Slowly, slowly lang. Siyempre, hindi naman pwedeng, hindi naman pwedeng maging, ang hirap naman mag ng 100% return. Diba? So, um, you can, by, by, with the right, fundamental background trading background fundamentals and the right habits if you want if you really want to do it i think it's possible because a lot of people have done it they na share ko sa breaking highs macro asia yata yun. which is the same um, almost the same execution that I did. Hmm. 
Bumi question question ulit. Uh, other than other than portfolio gain, meron ka ba bang ibang way of measuring your improvement over time? Uh, napapansin ko kung nare doon sa Instagram uh, grounds kung saan mo practice ka. It also measures how high your probability is in winning in your trades. Ikaw rin ba meron ang certain percentage na out of X amount of trades that you've done for uh, all time or in a specific month, parang X percent doon panalo. As kento, uh, it's, it ranges, it, the hit ratio ranges from 30, 30, 30 to 40%. 30 to 40% na win. 30 hit ratio 30 to 40%. Meaning out of 10 trades, only three will win. Okay, got it. Thanks. So that's what I kaya nga sinasabi ko. Um even in the one of even the best ones have a 40% or 35% hit ratio, meaning they will be only correct 30% of the time. So if you trade, di ba? If you trade it all in, talo ka talaga. Eh, magaling na nga 30%. What if you get 15% hit? 10% hit? Ubus yung capital mo doon. <clears throat> and then there's one more thing. It's called edge ratio. It calculates your, the amount of the amount of um, per in gains mo compared to your losses, average average gains versus average losses yata thousand. So you need to have a higher than two edge ratio higher than two. Okay, so yun yung uh, three main ones on how you uh, assess yung ano mo, improvement mo, uh, uh, increase in portfolio. Uh, hit rate and edge ratio. Yeah, because hit rate is if you're hitting ten percent, twenty percent, meaning may maligan ng ginagawa, or you're parang malini approach mo sa market because sobrang baba no? meaning one out of ten lang panalo mo. Okay, so good. thanks. Uh, sir, may question ako doon. Total uptrend yung na yung now trade mo, sir. Uh, tanong ko lang kung meron kayong practice as call traders na, for example, di ba yung hinahanap, ang idea is hinahanap mo is 45 degree stock, 60, de 60 degree stock, and 90 degree stock. Hmm. In terms of position sizing, meron ba kayong maximum na allocation, for example, sa 90 degree stock, uh, Dapat overall, parang maximum 3% VAR lang ako. Sa 45 degree stock, dapat, uh, ay sabi natin sa 90 degree stock, mga 2% VAR. For 45 degrees, ka pwedeng allowed kayo na mag at least 5% yung overall position. Meron po bang ganun o wala? Uh, maximum VAR is 1%. Uh, sir, I mean, kunyari, uh, since uptrend siya, uh, 1% yung, di ba sir, 1% yung per trade. Pero pag winning ka, yung ino-hold mong core, yun, yun po yung uh, question ko. Kung meron ba kayong, dapat ang hawakan mo lang for a certain stock is parang worth 20% ng overall position size mo, meron ba ganun o oh, wala? Nabili mo na eh. Diba? Umakit na eh. So, anong, anong question mo? Hawakan mo or what? Hindi, sir. Ang question ko is, for example, umangat na. Uh, kahit ba nakita ka pa ng possible entry, Bibili pero uh, medyo malaki na yung allocation for that stock. Bibili ka pa? Bibili ka pa ba? O uh, mag-focus ka sa ibang... Uh, stock names naman. Kung malaki na yung allocation mo for that, sa huli mo na siya, hindi na ako bibili. Gagawin ko na lang, magbibenta ako ng partial and then I will just try to 
ride ride most of it na move okay sir okay sir thank you po okay last question ibil question sir okay lang ha huh? out of topic question okay lang okay uh Ayaw mo ba kay Taylor Mason? Or ba't mas gusto mo si Bobby kay Taylor? Hindi ko get yung question eh. I mean, sino mas prefer mo si Bobby or si Taylor Mason? Bobby Axelrod or Taylor Mason? Hindi ba obvious pangalan ko Bobby Axelrod? Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> ba't ayaw mo lang? Ba't, pero wala is bakit parang ayaw mo lang kay Taylor? Ano yung mga... Hindi ko naman siya ayaw. Um, kasi personality wise, it's parang ano eh, I think robot, di ba? Okay. Yeah. Like, um, robot siya. So, um, ma- I'm not like that personally. And, um, so I, I can't relate to, I can't relate to Taylor Mason in general. Hmm. Well, given yeah, but, uh, given what you see, kung anong ginagawa ko, I'm sure that it's not close to close to that. Follow up, sir. Uh, any um, trading or trading related films or series na maganda or pinapanood nyo for motivation or inspiration wala, 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 wala nang ibang parang walang ibang magandang trading movies well yung Wall Street 1 old school yun Wall Street 1 Wall Street 2 pero Wolf of Wall Street puro kalokohan lang naman so wala eh wala yung billions ang very close to very close to what's happening in real life okay okay thank you sir Hey, thanks everyone. Thank you for ano, joining me. I appreciate your time. Three hours din tayo nagsasalita dito. And um, I'm not related to Nikki. But uh, good friends to me. Um, so I'll see you guys on ano, social media. Instagram, IG. Tag, tag me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And um, sana maulit Oh, sure, time in the future, okay? Hi, sir. Thank you. Okay. If you have questions, you can email me or message me on Instagram or whatever. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, po. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, po.